Pisces, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ella, and this is going to be your how your crush feels about your special reading. So watch this one if your crush is Pisces or if you have Sun Moon rising in the sign of Pisces. And like always, I'm mentioning this all in my videos. Um, make sure you only watch this if it resonates. If something doesn't resonate, probably it's not for you because it's a general reading, so don't get confused. The purpose of this reading is ultimately, you know, to help you connect to your own intuition, to, you know, entertain you a little bit, to maybe heal even you a little bit. So don't, you know, if the message you feel like is not, you know, resonating, probably not for you. So anyway, let's get started, Pisces. Let's see how your crush feels about you or if you're a cross watcher for Pisces. How does your crush feel about you? Very interesting energy. Someone here is very mysterious, I'm getting. Likes to play. I'm getting either chess or some kind of like... some One of those, what do you call those games? Cards Against Humanity or whatever. Like something, some kind of game. I forgot what you call those things. But basically like what you play on the table with other people in groups. I don't know, weird message. Anyway, let's see how they feel about you. Okay. Huh interesting we called him tortoise because he he taught us so someone feels maybe like they are learning a great deal from you maybe uh you are somebody that your crush is looking up so anyway let's try to decipher this weird message <laughs> uh with zero cards how this person feels about you ah okay here we go so Ace of Cups, feelings are there, love is there, like someone here is almost like adores you, uh, maybe you adore this person, it's very, very pure, very unconditional love here, and it's almost like, it's like this type of feelings that shake you to the core, so for somebody you're crushing on, um, you know, someone who has crush on you, they're probably feeling pretty intense crush, it's pretty strong feelings, it's almost like they probably making playlists and they're making sure like the, all those songs are resonating with their vibe and they're spending days and nights listening to the songs and thinking about you or could alternatively you could be the one doing that very interesting energy definitely they like you whoever you have in mind we have here also six of pentacles so maybe they even thinking to express somehow their love towards you their feelings maybe they want to ask you on a date so maybe you want to ask them on a date give them some kind of you know and six of pentacles here like i usually take it i usually you know i usually interpret it as more of an eighth house in astrology stuff don't ask me why but it's more like giving and receiving giving somebody something nice you know so it could be your case okay one more card flying out the world it's almost like someone really really actually likes you here so if you're doubting you know if this person likes you or not they like you they see you as this very well traveled very spiritual uh, pretty attractive i would say woman or man one of you could also have taurus scorpio aquarius or uh taurus scorpio aquarius or leo placements as well interesting it's almost like I see you also attending some kind of very fancy event. Message for some, like you're going, you know how there is this, not red carpet, but where there is all this decoration and stuff. That's that's the message I'm, I'm seeing for some of you. Let's see what else. Have here eight of swords. However, one person here is either not expressing that or maybe they're just blind to, you know, another person expressing themselves. Maybe someone is really trying here for another person, but another one feels like for whatever reason, they either can't reciprocate it or they don't notice it, whether on purpose or not. Or maybe there are some other also circumstances that kind of preventing them, uh, blocking them in a way. Yeah, I think it has to do with uh, someone was recently in a situation, maybe in a different commitment and they just recently walked away maybe they're still really really hurting you know from whatever happened to them i'm getting that it's almost like this person hasn't really healed yet that's why like even if you are the one your crush is pisces and you're trying really hard to maybe impress them 
you know express their love and you feel like you know you're doing it and they kind of are not reciprocating it's because probably they're still hurting they recently someone recently left them or they left someone um you know and this energy take has taken its all on them they were very lonely for a while they were very even hurt for a while about something let's see what else but i sense that it could be you, Pisces, or it could be them. They are very loving individual. They are full of love. They definitely have capacity to give and receive love. Let's see what else. So I feel like word of advice for you, if you are dealing with this individual, if let's say you have a crush on this person who is kind of like a little bit slow to express their feelings, take things a little bit slow. Because here we have Knight of Pentacles and it's a slow moving energy. Don't rush into anything. Just, you know, be there for them, maybe as a friend. Like don't, don't rush into anything. Don't run too fast here. It's not gonna really work if you do it this way. Let's see what else. Three of Swords, yes, definitely somebody here was really, really hurt in the situation. They do like you, though. And Three of Wands. So I feel like someone first here needs to, uh, to let go of this broken heart, heal this broken heart, and stop living in the past and start embracing the future. Start looking in what's not behind them, but what's in front of them. Because Three of Wands, ultimately, he's looking what's ahead. Very, very important. Very important energy. So let's see. Let's see what's your power in the situation. What maybe you could do uh, to make things better. Let's see if there's anything you, you need to do at all. I have King of Swords here. So it's almost like maybe... Um, <laughs> okay. So almost like don't... You know, first of all, don't lie to yourself. So if let's say you deep down know that... No, it's gonna take this person some time to open up. Don't tell yourself that, oh, you know, like, uh, be honest with yourself first and foremost. So, and then also when communicating with them, also be clear about your intentions. Maybe uh, show them, you know, that you're an honest, fair, and logical person, that uh, you're not too much of this crazy emotional person, because maybe some of them are even afraid to open up emotionally because they've been through so much. Now, let's take one last card. And four of pentacles, yes, definitely here it's like, you know, someone is not uh, hurrying, <laughs> he's not in a hurry to open up. So if somebody is not, open up, is not opening up, take it slowly, take things slowly. It always is a good advice. Let's see what else. Uh, let me take Love Oracle for you guys. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys are doing fine with this Venus retrograde. Let me know what's going on because <laughs> energy is intensified. We have here, hold on now, too much, let's see. Okay, we have here a romance. Patiently, see what I said before, patiently. Patiently show you accept your love interest as is. Invest the time and effort to do so. So I think it's very important. Remember like what I said before, feelings and love is there, interest is there. But what's very important is to like not lie to yourself about the truth of the situation. Understand that this person probably been through, through quite a bit and whatever they are acting like, maybe it resonates, maybe it doesn't. But I feel like in whatever case scenario, it's important to just... Um, you know, be very patient, especially with a person who's been through something recently and accept a person as they are because, you know, like what, you know, it, like it's so important to love a person as they are. I understand that, yes, everybody can always improve and all of that. But when we love, ultimately, we love a person with their flaws and all. This is the ultimate unconditional love and Pisces is also all about that so i feel like if you appreciate this person respect them show that you 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 take them as they are with whatever you know even baggage they come with maybe that will help them to open up a little bit more anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel please subscribe i'm doing weekly giveaways for all my uh, loyal subscribers <laughs> and um, yes let me know how this video resonated and i'll see you next time bye bye